Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, Noel JP here. Thank you once again for joining me for a continuation of my first part of our last episode here on Construction Sim 2015 on the Gold Edition. We are doing the high modern high-rise apartment building and this is part two. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, definitely go check out part one first to see all the basic things that we've accomplished so far to get where we're at right now. Uh, this job, as you see, has a lot of stages. We are already on stage number six. Uh, the first part took a little while because we had some major excavation to do, but we are pressing on now. Uh, we've already got some items on site ready to go. I've already got my crane here, and we're already on the third level of our high rise. So we are making very, very good progress at this point, and we're gonna keep pressing on. So uh, as of right now, we are on stage number six, and I need to get some more prefabricated wall panels from the wall factory. <clears throat> we're going to set those in place and then we're going to uh, move a couple containers. So um, what I'm going to do, uh, if you saw in the last episode, I left my low boy truck over at the wall factory to make sure that I would have an easy way to transport and save some time. Uh, our truck is back over there, our trailer I should say is already back over there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and buy everything we need. Yes, 3,200, perfect. Okay. Ape says new contracts available. I hope there's a million dollar contract in there somewhere. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, we're gonna put the outriggers up. Golden. Hop out real quick and just attach this cargo. There we go. Alright, we are out of here. This job is moving on very, very quickly. After we got all our uh, cranes in place and got everything transported, uh, we took a, took care of a lot of stuff on the last episode. So this part two should move through very, very quickly, I would assume. Um, and after we learn that the job, when you excavate, does not require that you fully excavate to get 100% in order to complete the uh, stage, that's also going to help us out as well, um, because it is the part I was dreading um, in having to finish on the last one was that stupid, <laughs> was that stupid excavation part. But this should go a whole, whole lot smoother. Um, so we're going to fly up in here, we'll park that right there. Okay, let's detach the cargo here and I need to take a look at one thing uh, in our last episode we ran up the stairs and okay good I just want to make sure there was an extra set of stairs because on our last episode we saved some time by uh, not having to uh, no 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 I don't want to reset why would I want to do that yes no There, okay. Guess if I wasn't standing close enough to it, then <laughs> it's gonna give me problems. So let's snag this guy and beam me up. Okay. Spin this to make sure it's not going to fall off the edge. Perfect. And just in the interest of time, so I do not have to run up here a second time, I'm going to go ahead and put these panels. Up here as well. I don't know if the game, there we go. Okay, that'll be fine. All right, so 
We're going to hop out of our crane. We're going to run up two flights of stairs here. Good there. Cargo detached there. Perfect. I swear, my construction guy, he's a jack of all trades. <laughs> he's just got it going on. Okay. Flip it over. Perfect. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know in the real construction at time. In real life, stuff would not be floating around this fast. <laughs> Concrete would be breaking all over the place. Company would be paying out benefits for uh, injuries. The crane operator would be fired. <laughs> Just wouldn't be a good situation overall. But in the virtual world, speed is everything. All right. And uh, while we have a minute, while it's putting some of these panels in place, if you guys haven't already, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, a lot of people have been watching the videos. Um, haven't really had any subscribers, though, kind of for a while. Uh, I don't know if it's just that, you know, it's just some random people coming by and you're just kind of checking the game out and not too interested from an overall standpoint about, you know, other things that I'm doing or whatever. But, uh, you know... Subscribing to somebody's channel is the best way to, oh, what in the world, um, is the best way to show a YouTuber that you're really interested in what they're doing. Um, I'm not doing, what in the heck is going on here? Okay. That was really strange crane was like trying to reset itself I don't know why but um, yeah like I was saying uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel uh, I try to put these out it's the best way to keep track of you know when new episodes come out so if you enjoy this kind of game or uh, you know anything else that I've put on my channel in the past you know um, definitely subscribe to the channel show me that uh, you like you like what you see. Uh, I always like comments. I like interacting with the community, and it's uh, it's just you know I'm not doing YouTube for money. So I mean, ultimately, I don't have to have subscribers, but you know, who knows? Who knows what YouTube could become for somebody down the road? Um, so the best way is to really uh, just you know show your support and. Uh, It'll really go a long way for me, but I very much appreciate anybody who's dropping by to check out any of these gameplays and these jobs that we're doing. They're fun. I like them. <laughs> and that's all that matters is that I'm having a good time. But let's see here. So our next piece here, we have to just get these back off of the site. I really don't have to put them back on the truck itself. Um, because I think the game clears them back over to back over to the wall factory anyway. <laughs> okay. That's a classic case right there of when when you're not sitting on the right angle. Oh, 
Okay. Building waste containers. Uh, oh, there they are over there. Okay. So, hop out of here. Uh, I am going to need to... Let me do this real quick here. I'm going to need to send this trailer back to the wall factory. Okay. So let me just do that real quick. I don't need that anymore. Um, I'm going to go put this. Uh, we have to go get our green truck so that we can pick up our two containers over here before we can proceed to the next stage. So. Um, a lot of this stuff on this truck right over here is part of the following stage. So I'm just going to get this low boy in place uh, because we are going to have to go back to the wall factory here. Uh, the stage right after we put those materials up on the on that third or fourth level. So just so we don't, so I have an easy way to transport and not spend any money. I'm just going to get this in position. We'll hop over and grab our green truck, make a couple trips over to the uh, the harbor where it needs us to go. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, right there. Okay. Deposit tipper. And the unfortunate thing about this deposit tipper is there is <clears throat> there is no way to get more than one bucket on the back of these things. So we're unfortunately going to have to make two trips. Obviously, I will cut down on the editing so that you guys don't have to see me drive the same route two different times, but... We will do as the job asks, and what I just noticed here is that, uh, well, two things I noticed. Up here in the top right-hand corner, uh, we are now approaching $1.1 million. Uh, however, our, <coughs> excuse me, uh, sorry, I'm running into a little cold here the last couple days. Uh, one thing I am seeing also is that we are going to get hit with another finance charge, so uh, that's going to be another $40,000 coming off of our total. But I expected it with a job this size, there was no way we were going to get it done within just a uh, one month period, which is what the game runs. It runs it on a kind of monthly time scale based on how much work you're doing, so nothing I can do about those finance charges, just a part of the game, but it's kind of why I do some of these bigger jobs, just to you know give us enough space so that on the next go around, oops. Just trying to turn a little a quick corner there. There we go. And if I could get these things lined up here, that would be fabulous. Somehow we generated all of this rubble, even though we haven't unrubbled anything so far. Okay. So let's get out of here. We're going to head right down to the harbor, which is uh, right here on this side of town. It's right below... Actually, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, I can't. I can't reset. That's right. I was thinking about maybe resetting over to home base uh, here in the city, but... We can't do that when we have materials on board. You uh, can only do it when you're running an empty truck. Or not sitting in the truck yourself. So uh, We 
will just make a very quick speed run down here to the harbor, which is just around the corner. We'll get this unloaded and then we'll knock out that second piece. I think that guy just blew through a stop sign there. <laughs> Harbor right on that sign there. Oh, this thing sounds like it's struggling. Okay, commercial zone, harbor right here on our. There's our harbor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I've wrecked so many cars in this game. Oh. Unbelievable. Ooh. And I think if I remember correctly, I know it's been about 20 episodes since we moved a container, but I think this is the drop point right here. Oops. I was meaning to stop, not go forward. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So with that, we've got one of the two dropped off. Uh, this is probably the most unexciting part of this entire job, was dropping off these two containers. So I will see you guys in just a minute. I'm going to take a, a speed run back up to the construction site. I'll probably catch you guys right here before we drop off this final piece. And then we will uh, make our way back over to the wall factory and get back to the real things that matter on this job. So bear with me, guys. I'll see you here in just a quick second. Alright guys, so we are back here at the harbor, and I have found a little sneaky way into the harbor. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can we roll over? <sighs> nope. <laughs> well, that didn't work out like I thought it would. <laughs> Cargo disconnected. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. You got to ram it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was fun. I didn't actually know if that was going to work or not. <laughs> I just thought that was going to be the... Uh... Okay. Let me just pick this thing back up here again. can't believe that little train track derailed us. It literally flipped us over. <laughs> Well, maybe shortcuts aren't always that great, but... Let me 
Is that because... Oh, I probably didn't put the arms in. That's why. That's okay. We're here. Yeah, the arms weren't all the way in. That's why it's given that you cannot drive faster message. That's fine. That's fine. We're done with this thing. Awesome. Okay. So, what we're going to do here, I'm going to hop out because I don't need this thing anymore. So, I'm going to reset that back to the home base. What I am going to do now is I need to hop back in my flatbed truck with a crane right here on the job site. All these materials in the back are going to complete this next little portion here. going to put that right there. Cargo's detached. Let's hop in our crane. Awesome. Okay. And we need to get Two wall primers, three insulations, and two concrete bags, which is exactly what we have. So I'm going to spin our view here. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to try to do these as quick as I possibly can here. I wish this crane had like a, you know, a, like a four piece attachment, you know, like massive cranes can carry up a whole bunch of stuff, but um, this one you can only seem to, uh, can only have one material at a time on the on the crane hook. So we'll do as the game asks. Good. This crane is so silent. <laughs> you have to kind of listen real close to when the uh, when the movements happen to know that you're actually you're actually going the way you want. There we go. Clear the edge. good stay in there perfect all right yeah this is one hefty job we haven't done anything close to what this job is asking for Okay. Two more pieces here. Two more and we're done. Two more and we are done. I'll save the inf insulation for last because it's yellow. I don't know why. <laughs> it's bright and happy and sunny. And we're done with another portion of the job, so... Okay. Alright guys, our last piece here, so let's get this
tossed right up here on top. We're already up on one, two, three, four. We're already working on the fifth level of this modern high rise. Boom. Just like that. There we go. So I am going to need to put this crane roughly right down here because I am going to have to pick up our prefabs again and whew, there's our another man we've almost spent a hundred thousand dollars on monthly finance charges <laughs> but I hope by the time that we get to our 12th stage that we will still be within say inside the same one so we don't get hit with another charge um, but we'll do what we have to all right so let's put this guy right here for now we need our prefab so we're gonna hop back in the low boy which is already sitting here let's talk to this lady let's rent a trailer yes 3200 hooray for more spending yay yay well, the good news is this is last our uh, last trip we have to make over here to the wall factory. So as soon as we get these prefabs up, uh, we are going to be kind of rolling right to the last two to three stages of this job, which is very nice. Uh, we've been on it for quite a while here. But we are making excellent progress, and we're going to get paid a lot. Oops. A little too close. There we go. Put the outriggers up. Good. Attach the cargo so nothing falls out. All right. Let's make our way right over to the job site. What in the world? There we go. Look, staring at the ceiling there. Okay. And I see our crane up here in the distance, so we're very, very close. Okay, we are here. All right, so let's get these in position. Make this nice and easy. Detach the cargo. grab let's snag these Oop. more clip action <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these Right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to stick these alright. Put these right here on this edge. good maybe something right like this perfect now <laughs> gonna get some exercise do a little stairs I have to get up there to detach the cargo now Yay, made it 
to the top. There we go. Okay. And I'm not going to risk dying by falling off the edge. I don't think the game really has death <laughs> or injuries. But to, the, uh, to stay safe, I will just run down the stairs. Uh, okay, we're back. All right, good. All right. So this should be pretty quick. Oh my gosh, don't knock everything off the edge. There we go. Good. Okay. Like this. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We're really getting the hang of this now. Good. Um, I'm going to have to come back up the stairs anyway because <laughs> i got to reattach the cargoes before I can uh, remove the uh, the panel holder away from the job site, so. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Well, at least it didn't crack. There we go. Okay. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay. Perfect. And then our last piece here, guys. Right here. There we go. Now. We gotta get some more work out here. We gotta go up the stairs. In order to get these off, I have to kind of put the strapping back on. that and just like that and yeah, we got a nice view though from up here <laughs> this place is gonna look amazing when we're done I am totally thrilled with the work okay there we go all right so let's snag these Over the edge. There you go. Really don't even think they have to be on the uh, flatbed. I think the game just wants me to clear them. So I'm just going to drop them like that. There we go. As soon as I move this off, it should switch the stage for us. There we go. Oh. Wow. We are way up there now. Okay. So, with that, we just picked up a boatload of money. Um, let me just double check our jaws, because if we don't need this low boy anymore, yeah, we are almost done here. Stage 10, we just need to run back to the materials dealer. Um get some lumber and stuff so yeah we are done with the walls we are pretty much as high up as we're gonna get now 
So I'm going to I don't want to take this trailer back over to my home base, so I'm just going to reset the trailer, get out of here. We can also reset the low boy now, back to home. Yes, good. All right. So with that, we are making big time progress. Our structure is really taking shape. Um, I will see you guys back over. Actually, wait a minute. Man, we've got so much going on in this job. Half of our inventory is gone. <laughs> so our next piece here, we just need to load up three wall primers, two concrete bags, and four drywall elements. Uh, from the materials dealer right here. I should have been in this view while driving. My fault, my fault, my fault. good hello I'm back again I need more stuff two three four one two three perfect d500 no big deal okay so let me check these here these are handle this so we're getting pretty close to being done I think the only piece that's really gonna take um, a little bit of time to do is that last piece of excavation and our two runs over to uh, the gravel plant to get everything done so I will try to move through that as quick as humanly possible, but uh, these are those parts of the job that take just a little bit more patience and a little bit more time, so we'll get them done. Slowly but surely, we'll get them done. Okay, let me get some of these primers out of here. I'm glad to see we're getting drywall in this thing, because that tells us we are just about at the end. Anytime you're putting a house together, you always put the structure down, and then the drywall comes flying in thereafter, so... Now that I see drywall on the, on the shelving, I know we are very, very close to the end. guys so we are just about wrapped up with loading up the truck here and we are going to take this stuff right back up to the construction site uh, move it all the way up onto that top level oop, 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 didn't mean to drop that there Sorry, give me one second here Oh yeah, I forgot. These things are smaller than the other ones. There we go. Okay, let me just double check and make sure this all attaches. Golden. Perfect. Set. Yes. Close. Okay. So now that we've got all this stuff on here, 
Let's run this back up to the construction site. We will knock out this. Oop. Okay. And I think we only have that one big chunk piece to go. Um, as I was preparing this truck, loading everything up, I was thinking about the last stage where we have to go get some stuff from the nursery as well as the lumber yard, and I think what we're going to ultimately end up doing is just transporting ourselves over to our home base that we still have over in the village because the nursery and sawmill are right down the road from each other. Um, I don't want to drive it because that that drive literally takes a good five minutes to get from one side of the city to the other um, in real life time and I don't want to waste that much time you know for unnecessary editing purposes for my video or having you guys just watch me drive open roads just for the heck of driving so uh, I apologize to anybody who likes to see a lot of driving but with an episode of this length we're gonna have to uh, make some cuts and choices and that's one thing I'm gonna cut so <laughs> sorry <laughs> but Gotta do what I gotta do. Okay. Alright. Let's hop out. Man, we spent more time in this crane this episode than any other thing so far. Except for the excavator. I don't know, maybe I spent more time in the excavator, <laughs> but, okay. I wish what this thing had is a strap system where you could just strap your entire truck uh, onto the crane, and then the crane can just lift the truck up all the way to the top here, and I'd be able to drop all the materials off. <laughs> that would be great. Okay. And that drywall would have been absolutely destroyed right there. Without a doubt, drywall would have been cracked. I would have been back to the materials dealer if it was in real life. Sorry, that mouse. Hopefully it doesn't bother you guys. I just happened to leave it there. <laughs> I don't even recognize it because I need the, to use the mouse so often in this game to kind of keep the camera centered so I don't even really pay attention to it. Okay, I'm going to put this guy right there. Let's throw a little primer up here for our, and this thing is one, two, three, four, five, six. We're on our seventh story of this uh, this building now. This thing is really coming together. And it should be our absolute last, the last floor that we have to do. I didn't count them up on the original picture, but just based on the uh, size of the item, it seems like we've pretty much reached the top here. Okay, good there. Just a few more items, guys. Bear with me here. We're going to move through these as quick as we can. I'm at the mercy of the crane, so I apologize. <laughs> it moves a little bit slower when you're holding multi-thousand pound pallets of concrete and primers and everything. It's not as uh, not as speedy as it is just putting the, the hook back down at the end, so. There we go. And I like our green status bar with the little guy up in the right hand corner that's doing the dig. That tells me that we are getting very close to the end of this job here. And I think we're definitely going to beat the next monthly cycle unless I just screw something up so bad where it takes forever to uh, get everything done, but we're not going to mess up. We are being 
ultra efficient with this job and I'm pleased with everything so far so all right one of each left let's get these done and on to our next portion here Stay there. It never rains in this game either. I realize it's always a sunny day. Um, it should rain once in a while. Thunderstorm or something. Make it real slick. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave that last drywall till the very end here. Okay. Perfect. One last piece to throw up here. this right here perfect crane off the site there we go another 28,000 okay so we are done with that portion right there um, it now wants us to excavate this which I assume <laughs> This is a very odd shaped item, but I, I, I assume this is going to be the swimming pool. Um, and then we need to deliver 30 cubic meters of dirt to the gravel plant. Uh, I just want to check real quick. I'm going to be pulling the truck over here into position, but I think we still have, and we do, a boatload of dirt already in here. So that's nice. For a uh, wow, the uh, penthouse level just went on all the way there at the top. You can see how big the windows are. Let's get this guy in position, maybe like right here. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. I like it. One thing I'm going to do, because I keep staring at it and it's driving me crazy. Let me uh, reset our roller back. We don't need that anymore. Okay. As soon as I, I probably won't finish the dig here before we take our first trip to the gravel plant because I need all the dirt from this hole in order to fulfill our second task on this stage. So uh, I might end up digging out a little bit bigger of a hole than I am required to, but okay. So let's go with that. left my truck where I had it before. There. Now it's good. Okay.
We are making ourselves a swimming pool here. We'll give these uh, this uh, high-rise tenants the finer things in life. Give them a swimming pool. So, to be safe, I'm going to stop the dig right there because we are already at 50%. Um, we are literally at 50%. Uh oh. Ugh. Okay, we're going to make this easy. Take this back to this side of town. <laughs> a little too close. Um, I'm going to drop this dirt off first. I want to make sure that we have enough scoops left. See, we're at 19.8% right now. I uh, just wanted to make sure I had enough space left in our dig uh, to get us the extra 10% because we need... According to this, we need 30 cubic meters, and right now we're at 19.8, and we're already over half of our our dig done for our pool, so I just wanted to be cautious and make sure I had enough dirt left to actually fulfill the stage, so bear with me here a moment. We'll just drop this gravel off real quick, or this earth off at the uh, gravel plant real fast, which is right up here on the left-hand side. Ooh, come on, truck! Struggling up the hill. <laughs> a lot of weight in the dirt. A lot of weight in the back of the truck here. All right. Perfect. And because we're so far away, I'm just going to pay the $237, bring us right back over here to the job site. Um, because we just picked up $4,000 in Earth. Okay. So let's get this guy back in position here. Stuck on a hill. There. That looks about good. Looks just fine. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> Hopped in the wrong truck. I was wondering why the excavator wasn't turning. <laughs> there we go. Now we're back in business. Yes. See, that's that message right there from the earlier portion where I thought we were going to uh, have to keep digging, but we really didn't. But in this case, because I have to have the earth from this part in order to fill our last stage, I can't skip the remainder of this job. So bear with me just a couple moments.
Ugh. Trying to find a good... There we go. That should work. done with the uh, thing here, but I am going to keep myself in this little spot here, and I'm going to fill this truck up. So bear with me here a moment, guys. I just need to make sure we got enough earth. In the back of this truck here. two more digs and we'll call it a wrap here. One thing, let me check here before I move this excavator out, just in case the stage. 12.1. <laughs> I can't risk it just yet. I need to put maybe two more scoops in the back of this truck. Let's see how that does. I think that should be enough. Yeah, 15.1. That's good. Um, let me get this guy. job site here. Guys, we are one stage away from being done. We are right on the cusp of wrapping this job up. I'm just spin myself around here. Make this easy, take it right across the street. done a lot. What does this need? Half pipe truck and drop the 30 meters. Okay. So. Just like we did before, going to take ourselves over to the village with all our dirt intact. make a quick run down here to the gravel plant just like we did before we're gonna drop off this last bunch of 
dirt, earth, as the game calls it. And then we'll move right on to our last piece, and that should pretty much get us wrapped up in this massive monster job. We'll be done. Surprisingly, for this job, as many things as we had to do, it was it was very methodical. Like we had to, you know, a lot of the things we had to pick up from each place were very close by, or it was the same kind of material for a couple stages. So it didn't really force us to have to make, you know, crazy decisions on how to pick things up and what order to put them in, um, which could have made the stage a lot more difficult. I assume that if they do make them that much more difficult that we're gonna just gonna get paid just that much more, so Is that it? Are we on our last stage? Oh my goodness. We are 11 stages done. We only need to get our lumber and two <clears throat> uh, nursery items. And we are pretty much wrapped. So I'm going to take this back to the city. Hop out. I'm going to get in our flatbed with Crane. which is here over at the job site. Uh, let's take this to the village. And let's stop by the nursery. The nursery and the lumber yard are... Or the nursery is only on this side of the city. There's not a nursery over on the city side. So... <clears throat> this is our only route to get this done. in a very timely way so but thank you guys for sticking with me through this uh, final piece here uh, I've tried to be as efficient as possible in getting this done and uh, the episode could have been a whole whole lot more time consuming if I had driven to all these places but um, that was not going to happen not with as many things as we need to maybe on some future episodes <laughs> I'll do a little bit more driving but for right now this will have to do okay hello there I have a massive apartment building that I need to make some landscaping changes to thank you I appreciate your business With us only needing, how much lumber do we need? We need three lumber larches, so I'm going to make sure I leave enough space for all that lumber. Perfect. Just like 
that. <laughs> oh, I see what it's doing. <laughs> I keep wondering why all these things keep coming up here. It's because of the, uh, the way my controller is set. Every time I attach an unattached an item, it acts like it's uh, sifting the menu. Perfect. Alright, and our last box of plants right here. Everything attaches. Perfect. Looks good. Okay. So all we need now is three lumber large point eights. is literally right down the road here to our left. Okay, I'm going to stop at the sawmill. And we'll get this job wrapped up. Our soccer field is still looking good over there. Mighty fine job I did there, if I must say so myself. Here we are at the sawmill. Drop out here and see our bearded wonder. Fifteen hundred bucks. Cape keeps wanting me to build or buy new vehicles. I only have like four or five vehicles left that I don't own yet. Uh, two of which are going to come as a combination when I get the uh, cement mixer. I have to get the pour at the same time, so. Definitely not going to be any type of careful with getting. Oops. There. Oh. There we go. I was trying to say I was not going to have any uh, any reservations about just chucking this stuff in this truck here, since this is our absolute last piece of material that we have to pick up. So, since I am now in a spot where I have cargo on board, I cannot 
Actually, wait a minute. Am I able to try? Yeah, I didn't think I could. Okay. I have to drive it back all the way now to the other side of the city, so... This may take a little while uh, just to get back to the other side, so... I will try to be as quick as I possibly can. Uh, I'm not going to put it all in the video, obviously, since there's a lot of road to cover to get us all the way back to the other side. So, uh, With that, I will see you guys when I'm approaching the job site. We'll get this last bit dumped off, and we will wrap this massive, massive contract up for good. So stick with me, guys. We'll be right back, and we'll get finished. <laughs> what I saw just here, look at this. Can you see it out in the distance? That's our building right over the top of that mountain there with the crane sitting right up on top of it. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I didn't even notice that. Let me see if I can, uh, can we see it? No, not quite. Sorry, I thought that was just a little, little bit interesting there that we could see our project from all the way over here. Alright guys, so we are right here, there's our job site here, you can see the crane and the top of our high rise is uh, built out here in the distance. Uh, we are coming right up to the job site, we're going to wrap this up, and look at the size of this thing that we've put together on this episode. I mean, this, this high rise is the biggest thing on this side of the map, or side of the city I should say, call it a map just from <laughs> whatever. but. I mean, take a look at this thing. That's crazy how big that is. It's at least 10 to 12 floors. I don't know. We'll count it up here in a second and see what it actually is. But uh, let's also see where we need to dump. Looks like all these materials can be dumped right here, so... Does that look good? Perfect. Yeah. This thing's a beast. Let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I guess that's the eleventh with the penthouse. <laughs> this is a monster. Okay. Outriggers are out. Let's just chuck these seven pieces here right over the edge. Oops, wrong one. Swimming pool is cut out. I'm actually surprised the game didn't ask us to put more uh, concrete down or anything. Yeah, 
in order to uh, fill the pool up. Like I said, I'm not too, uh... Oh, oh, can we make some of these roll over? Oh yeah, we're gonna get this. Oh yeah. <laughs> How about that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Alright guys, so our last piece here. Now we saved a little bit of time by rolling some things off the edge. Perfect! All we have to do is clear and we are done done and done good okay um. let's get out of here There we go! Alright, the modern high-rise apartment building. We did 12 stages, guys. 12 of them. $448,300 in total. We picked up 17,932 XP on this job. This is by far the biggest job we've done. And I appreciate the game. It just gave us a $20,000 bonus. Uh, for being good citizens and good builders. Wow, look at this thing. This is what we built, guys. Oh, and I'm gonna get run over by traffic. We built this high-rise apartment. Whew. Amazing. Oh, we didn't. We weren't building a swimming pool. We were just building a little pond. But uh, looks like they've got some patio areas. Modern. You got your mailboxes. You got some stuff for the kids over on the one side, but. There we go. We are done. I wish I could see what was actually up on top there, but it looks like a nice little cabana area. Uh, something going on. So, with that, guys, we are we are done. We did everything we needed to. Uh, the building is complete. It looks great. Thank you very much for sticking with me through both of these episodes. Uh, they were rather lengthy. Lots and lots of things to do. Very high-paying job. But ultimately... We got it all done. Great success. Gives us some idea of what some bigger jobs are like here on Construction Sim. So subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already. Thank you very much once again for joining me. Uh, continue to keep an eye out for more videos. I'll have more coming, and I will see you on the next contract. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy.